Today, I am gonna create a French salad classic with bluefin tuna. It's called Nichoise. It's, believe me, if you've never heard of Nichoise, you'll hear about it now. I'm meeting my buddy Andy, the Iceman, and we're heading offshore. That's right, we're going after the Holy Grail. We're gonna go find some tuna. So, I mean, I was thinking kind of a southwest. Oh, okay. Sure. And the wind's supposed to come up out of the southwest, so... Oh, to help push us back? Yeah, it'll be more of a direct behind us instead of, you know... Okay. ...fight the wind. Well, Andy and I ended up about five, six, seven miles offshore. We had a long day. We found birds, we found bait, we found patties, but no tuna for us. Then I got a phone call from Audie. He said he found a couple of 40-pound class bluefins. I said I'd be right over. I need those fish. Um, I'm out in my garden. I'm going to be doing one of my favorite things. I'm going to be picking up some uh, heirloom tomatoes and going to be picking up some green onions and I've got some uh, cucumbers over there. Take a look at that. Look at that heirloom tomato. Man, oh man. I've got this red bell pepper that I've been eyeing for quite some time. <laughs> look at this. My God. This is what you can do with your garden right here. Let's go find some green onions. Oh wow, look at this. And here's another one. Wow, look at that, look at that. Wow. Somewhere in here is a big old cucumber. I see it. There we go. Let's go back to the kitchen and start this nichoise salad. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start boiling my eggs and I'm gonna start boiling my potatoes. Two eggs. I'm gonna keep an eye on this. As soon as it comes to a boil, I'm turning off the heat and letting it sit. Oh look, our eggs are boiling. So it's time to turn off the heat, keep the lid on it, and let them rest for 10 minutes, and we'll have perfect hard boiled eggs. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is measure out a half a cup of red wine vinegar. And we're gonna go approximately one to one with the, uh, the acid, the vinegar, and actually I'm gonna add some lemon in here and the olive oil. There's a half cup. We want the juice of one lemon. All right, we're gonna crush some garlic. I've showed you guys this technique before. Okay, we're gonna use some salt here. And I'm using a liberal amount of salt. It's gonna help us grind this, but even more important, it's gonna, it's gonna be the salt and the seasoning in our salad dressing. Look at that, that's paste right there. Wow. Okay, that goes in. Good. So it's got salt, let's add some pepper. A couple pinches of pepper. Okay, let's go for a tablespoon of mustard. Just ordinary mushrooms, fine. French is mustard, of course. From France. There we go. I went out and bought myself a small whisk, finally. Anyway, so I'm gonna go one to one, so I'm gonna slowly start drizzling another half cup of olive oil. So that this will emulsify, in other words, so that the acid, the vinegar, and the lemon will mix with the olive oil. I'm gonna go put this in the refrigerator and continue on. Okay, gang, let's start cutting up our cucumber. God, you just can't get a cucumber any fresher than this. Okay, although this is a burpless cucumber, which means it's got thin skin and a small amount of seeds, whatever seeds are here, I'm gonna remove. It's not only do the seeds offer a lot of water, but they also are bitter and they counteract the sweetness of the cucumber, so it's better to remove the seeds. Okay, I'm going to cut the ends off. Okay. And I'm going to cut into four pieces. Opa, one, two, three. I'm also going to julienne these things. Remember, a julienne is a thin strip about three or four inches long. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the veins 
Now notice how I do this, I actually feed the bell pepper with my left hand into my right hand. That way there's no danger to cut myself. I'm gonna check on the potatoes. I'm gonna give them a pierce test. A couple of more minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna julienne these guys. Here we go. Keep my fingers tucked. And there we have it. There's our julienne bell peppers. Cool. Okay, we, here we have green beans. This is very classic. Um, ingredient for the Nichua salad. And here's what we're going to do with our green beans. We're going to cut the ends off and get them ready for a pot of boiling salted water. So here we go. All right, that about does it right there. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to leave them in there for maybe about three or four minutes. I've got my hot potatoes. They're still warm. It's time to cut them and then to actually mix them with the salad dressing. Take a look at this. This is a pitcher of water and a knife. This is a, a trick my mom taught me. When you're cutting these potatoes, your knife needs to be wet so you can slice through them and not tear them apart and get nice wedges. Check it out. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Believe me, this is a little trickier than it seems. Getting these potatoes to cook just right, it's tricky. So far so good. Perfect, perfect, there we go. Okay, that wraps up our potatoes. And now I'm gonna get my green beans out of the water and put it in an ice bath. Here we go. Wow, look how green that looks. That's perfect. This ice bath will stop the cooking and preserve this green color. I'll just set this in here for a minute or two and that'll be it. Take a look at these garden heirloom tomatoes. Um, that I just, all I wanna do is smell them. That's it. Unbelievable. And I'm just going to cut these in wedges for the salad. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. Jeez. This is the exciting time. We're getting really close to final assembly. So I'm going to start gathering all our components. Oh, we've got to sear up our tuna. Huh. How can I forget? we got to sear up the tuna. Hmm. Mmm, bluefin tuna. Let's season it up. Some salt, some pepper. I got my frying pan on high. This is only gonna go for a minute on each side. I want it medium rare. A little bit of oil. Let's get this tuna there up front. Let's season up the other side. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I can start to see some color on the edges. It's time to turn this guy over. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's going to turn out perfect. In the meantime, while that's going, I'm going to season up my potatoes because they're warm and that's when you want to season your potatoes. Remember that salad dressing we made earlier? I'm going to pour this salad dressing into the potatoes so I can let the potatoes suck all that juice up. Now we're going to gently toss it. And you know, I'm going to add some of that green onion. Remember the green onion I got from the garden? I'm going to toss some green onion in there. The tuna is done. Uh oh, oh, wow, 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 wow. We're going to let that rest and cool off and then we'll slice it up. Okay, here's our green onion from the garden. Oh, oh man. That looks funny. I'm gonna toss this into our potato salad. Gently toss this. I love green onions and potatoes. There we go, look at that. Set that aside, it's ready to go. All right, you guys. <clears throat> Remember the julienne uh, red bell peppers and the cucumbers and the green beans? Well, they're all tossed together and it's time to dress them. Wow. You just want enough salad dressing, or vinaigrette rather, to coat the vegetables. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. Man. 
I love it. We're getting close. We're getting really close. Now the classic French Nicois salad uses capers and salted anchovies. I don't have salted anchovies. But you know what I do have? I have yellowtail gravlocks. It's the same thing. It's, it'll provide a nice little salty bite. And you guys thought I just made this gravlocks for the hell of it. I use this stuff. Are you kidding me? I love this stuff. What a perfect way to use these yellowtail gravlocks in this Nishwa salad. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add this in here. That salad dressing will get all over these gravlocks really jazz them up. That's perfect. I mean, that'll make a salad in and of itself right there. If you guys have yellowtail gravlocks, you don't know what to do with it, make a salad. Cut them up into strips and put them in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is lay some lettuce down on the bottom of our platter. Let's start off by putting our potatoes down. We'll put some in every corner. There we go. Perfect. And now we'll get our vegetables, throw them in the middle here. Okay, you remember our heirloom tomatoes? Uh, I do. I'm in France, I'm telling you. We make this dish and you'll be in the south of France too. Wow. Now remember, tomatoes, always a little bit of salt on tomatoes. Can't live without a little salt on tomatoes. Especially these heirlooms, it'll just bring that sweetness right out of them. It's insane. And how about our hard boiled eggs? Let's not forget our hard boiled eggs. It's time to slice up the bluefin tuna. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's see how we did. I can't wait to see exactly how we did. Alright, let's see. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Look at that. Capers and potatoes are a very classic Mediterranean combination. I'm just going to pour this right on top of the fish. Go catch a bluefin tuna and go and make this salad. Drive everyone crazy.